go. Okay, hi. This is my Lost Girl vlog for There's Bo Place Like Home. Lost Girl is a show that I've been watching on and off for the past three seasons. It's can Canadian, it's Canada. It's Canada, it's Canadian, and it's very entertaining. It's about Bo, a succubus, and she basically gets to be feeding off of male, female, whatever she finds, and to keep herself alive. She's a fairy. It's badass fairies. It's really fun. Chris Holden Reed is in it. Chris Holden Reed is in The Tudors, which I kind of watched on and off with my mother. Um, yes, Chris Holden Reed is awesome. He's also he's also the main werewolf hybrid thing in the last Underworld movie that I cannot remember the name of right now. But yes, he was in that and he was awesome and he's fun to stare at. Um, but this is usually a show that, in my opinion, can get kind of stupid, but you love it anyway because it's just so entertaining. Not stupid in a bad way, stupid as in the, you guys, this is kind of supposed to be serious and you're not really making it serious. But it's not bad acting, I rather enjoy it. Obviously, if I've been watching it on off, it's not just my show I'm watching so I can laugh all the time, which is kind of is, but it's a different kind of laughter, if not like a, ah, uh, ha, uh, huh. Anyway, um, Bo's got her huge trial thing called the Dawning, uh, going on. The Dawning is apparently supposed to be when their powers are supposed to be at their peak, but since Bo found out she's a succubus apparently like two or three years ago show wise she's never known about this and now her adorable little uncle trick who runs this bar that she crashes at all the time like her human friend kenzie who is a kleptomaniac but we love her kenzie's awesome she's like the abby of the show the insane goth um dyson in the end of season i believe it was end of season one lost his ability to love because of a character whose name i cannot remember that i probably should have researched but either way he lost his ability to love dyson is madly in love with Bo. But Bo currently has a relationship with this blonde doctor chick who's a human named Lauren. She's cool, but it's kind of really sad because Dyson's so madly in love with her and Bo's all flaunt flaunting. And she's all with Lauren and they're really cute and I'm happy because there's a lesbian couple in the show. And it's one of those shows where you can basically have bisexuals. You can have whatever the fuck you want because you have a succubus as your main character who swings both ways. Because she just needs to feed off of not your soul, but it's an energy thing. It's really cool. They have these awesome graphics. Her eyes get insanely blue. Um, but yes, Chick promises Dyson that they'll be a long-term relationship since Bo and Lauren can only be temp, uh, short-term. I kind of enjoyed that. I'm s just because I really like Dyson and I'm sad when he's sad. Um, Kinsey and Bo go off to her old home in the middle of the freaking country where Bo, when she was around, I think it was 18, 17, 18 years old, killed her boyfriend by accident, Jeremy. They were making out, she sucked him dry of his life force, and he died. She ran the hell out of town, and now she's come back because she's found out part of her child is she has to get rid of this anger inside of her that she has towards her mother because her mother referred to her as the devil and a lot of other really mean things mothers shouldn't refer to their children as. Um, so there's issues there. That's her adopted mother. Then Bo's real fairy mother, who's also a succubus, is all kinds of fucked up too, and we don't know about her father. So maybe we'll find out about that soon enough. Maybe. I don't know. But anyway, her name was Beth Dennis at the time. Bo's got real... what? Bo's got these needles. Okay, Bo go. Wow, sorry. I wrote notes during the episodes I watched, and now I'm reading them, and it's just really a lot of grammatical errors. But anyway, Bo was given these needles by Lauren that are supposed to kind of stop the fae gene her that's attacking her and it's like gets stabbed and then you're cool um so they she la 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 lauren gave these to kenzie slash Bo and kenzie joined Bo on this little road trip and anytime Bo gets dark and a really ranty angry version of her when her eyes go all blue and looks like she's gonna go kill people kenzie's supposed to stab her and she casually does this a lot in this episode but there's three and it was fun because the first two she uses on Bo, and the final one she uses on this monster fairy something with a P that I also cannot remember, that Bo's friend, um, no, wow, I didn't write down the friend's name. Anyway, Bo to a friend, uh, I'm gonna call him, it's not Bobby, I'm sorry. Anyway, Bo's friend summons this monster fae chick when they were in high school, and after everyone at this little group, uh, four or five of them, all went to go be couples, he got pissed, he was having his occult phase, and he summoned this fairy thing that has been slowly torturing him and making him go insane, and now has been killing off every one of this little group during the cherry festival that is going on. Bo being Bo, of course, stopped this crazy bitch with a scythe, scythe and then Bo and Kenzie went home, 
Bo walked through this portal thing that she needed to try and walk through, but she was not able to because of her anger, so she walked through that all happily, and now she found out she has even more trials to go through that are supposed to be even worse than the first one. So not only will she have to have more emotional trauma, she can get more physical trauma, and yay, more action. Meanwhile, uh, a couple of episodes ago, Kenzie got attacked by another fairy that I cannot remember right now, but it was making her skin all messed up, and then Kenzie was lost and locked up in a cage thing for a long period of time, and the shapeshifter bitch was pretending to be Kenzie, and Bo was all like, you're not Kenzie, and no one believed her because they thought she was going insane, and then Dyson finally believed her at the end and helped save Kenzie, and there's this awesome chick named Ten Tempson that is a Valkyrie, and she's just a badass, but she's working for the Dark Fae, but you can tell she really likes this little group of misfits because she's starting to become friends with them, and now it's awkward because she has her little issues, but yes. Really good episode. There's both Place Like Home was pretty enjoyable. Nice to see it have a, not a darker feel, but it was still very nice. It wasn't as carefree, but they still managed to have carefree lines. I don't know. Either way, this is very enjoyable. Lost Girl is Mondays at 10 on Sci-Fi Eastern Standard Time, and I know it repeats again at midnight too, but I don't know exactly the exact time, specifically for Russell Time, time Zone. But yes, bye. I'll be doing more videos. Bye.